I am happy to have here right now Dr. Ronald Peterson of the Mayo Clinic. Doctor, thank you for joining me today. My pleasure, Janelle. We're talking about how early we can detect cognitive disorders. So I want to ask you, how are you characterizing profiles of typical cognitive aging? Well, you know, as we age, we all get a little forgetful, a little slower at thinking. Maybe we don't multitask right. quite as well as we formerly did. But the distinction between that, which is normal, okay. and the earliest signs of what might d be disease, mm -hmm. like Alzheimer's wow. disease, can be a subtle distinction. So we're okay. working on that, and we're going to discuss that today. All right, so what role do subjective cognitive concerns play in aging? Well, as we move earlier and earlier in the cognitive spectrum, that is to when people are essentially functioning normally, right. but think that things are not quite the same as they used to be, yeah. subjective cognitive impressions become important. Now, again, this is very common in aging, and we've done studies indicating that perhaps three quarters of people, say over the age of 70, mm -hmm will report that they're not remembering quite as well as they formerly did. Again, that doesn't mean they have Alzheimer's disease, but it could be a clue. So today we're going to be talking about what are the features of that subjective cognitive impairment that may be worrisome. And subjective meaning the person is telling you this is happening to me. Exactly. So okay. the person senses in him or herself right. that I'm just not as not sharp right. as I used to be. And is, are we seeing more of this because people are living longer? Is Absolutely. Okay. The biggest risk factor for Alzheimer's disease is aging. Mm -hmm. And more and more people are living to longer ages. All right, and why is this so important, doctor? I mean, why are the, what are the implications if we can detect this early? Well, Alzheimer's disease is so common right. in society, and so many people are worried about it, that it may be the health care crisis yeah. of the very near future. Right. In fact, some people say if we don't solve the Alzheimer's disease problem, we're not going to solve the Medicare problem mm. because it's so costly to mm -hmm. society, of course, to families and individuals as well. Right. So this is a very, very important problem. Yeah. And so trying to pick out features of who might be developing the disease at the earliest point will be important for intervention with therapies to prevent the further progression. Since the spotlight is pretty much on this, are you seeing progress? Absolutely. Oh, I just good. came from London where the Alzheimer's Association International Conference was right. held and there's a great deal of progress being made both on the clinical front and on the therapeutic That's front great. toward Alzheimer's disease. Great information. Doctor, thank you so much for joining me today. My pleasure.